you went to work? Yeah. Me too, yeah. Hey, uh, I wonder if you fancy coming to Flicks tonight. No. Oh, Lou, I know I deserve all this hard to get stuff you're playing, but can't you see I'm making an effort? I'm not playing anything. I just don't want to see you anymore. Please, Lynn, what do I have to do? It's too late. Oh, why? Because there were three people in that relationship. Me, you and your job. And guess which you preferred? That's not true, Lynn. Honest, did it? Oh, tonight, filming a curry. Just give me a chance. No. How can I show you? Nothing means more to me than you. Oh, Marlon. Oh, it's gone half past. We'll chat on me break, yeah? Phone in sick. You are? Yeah. Bring them up. Tell them you're not coming in. I can't do that. Well, it's the job or me. Put me first, just for one day. Then I'll know you're serious. There you are, all right. Now you're not leaving all of that, are you? Hey. Oh, yeah. What's he doing here this time of the morning? Well, he must have spent the night in the village. Where? Oh, do you know, Betty, it never cropped up while I was taking his order. Oh, love, you've a lot to learn about waiting on, lad. You're in early. More coffee? Just a bill, thanks. Oh, work, is it? <laughs> having one of these business breakfasts you high flyers are always having? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hardly. Stayed over at Zoe's, did you? That's it. No, not Zoe's. Somewhere else. Not the I'm Brian, of course. Where? Just the bill, thank you, Betty. Bill. <laughs> Have I missed something? Chris. Betty's been trying to find out where he spent the night. Oh. Billora's, I reckon. That'll explain why she's still hanging around her farm. Yeah. yeah. So, looks like you're off the hook. Hello, Dinah. Marlon? <sighs> Poor thing. Well, get yourself back to bed. No, no, we can manage. OK, bye. I can't believe I did that. I'm very touched, Marlon. Migraine. Well, no. <clears throat> Boss said I should go back to bed. Does she know? Good advice. Uh, might get a bit lonely, though. Give us your keys, then. This means we're an item again. You believe me now? No, I don't. Lynn! It's not going to be that easy, Marlon. If you want me back, you're going to have to make sacrifices. Well, I thought we could go to my place, you know, make up and that. No, I'm going to work. You're not, and you're not going home either. Well, I can't stay here all day. Yes, you can. Right there on that bench, and I'll be checking. That's ridiculous. I'll freeze to death. Well, how badly do you want me? That, well, what, what if Cathy sees me? She thinks I'm at death's door. Yeah, move from here and you will be. Oh, they're not this. Anything else? Last chance, Marlon. Blow this one on, I mean it. You'll never see me again. Seth, can't we just play now? What on earth do you think you're doing? What's it got to do with you? We're entitled to a break. Oh, a break, is it? I've seen shorter retirements. Oi, we don't take orders off you. I am numero uno round here now. That's number one to you. Do you understand me? Oh, hello. I want to do it <laughs> in here. Well done. <laughs> right, uh, run along, lads. Uh, lots more to be done, eh? Uh, that's it. <laughs> right, then. Uh, see you later. Boss. <laughs> Shall we? I thought things were going to be easier with Chris Tate out of the way. How come he's in charge now? Oh, lad, he just thinks he is. This is an estate, not an antique shop. We'll soon show him what bosses. <laughs> That's two wages we could save at a stroke. Why can't we just get rid of them, Eric? They're freeloaders. They see you as an easy target. <clears throat> I'm not quite as naive as you like to think, Eric. Those two, Chris Tate, they're about as much benefit to this place as dry rot. Oh, twice as expensive. Chris didn't sleep here last night. 
Oh, well, perhaps he's found some other rich benefactor to scrounge off here. You have a very dark view of human nature, don't you, Eric? Trust me, Stella. There are all manner of bloodsuckers and parasites out there just waiting to feed off somebody like you. I think you're underestimating me. I just wish you'd let me protect your interests. You're rich, very attractive, and alone. You have no idea how tempting you are to those that have uh, less than honourable intentions. Is it going to be like this all day? What do you mean? Look, if you think last night was a mistake, you could at least be grown up enough to say so. I don't. So how come you wouldn't even stay for breakfast? Ashamed of me, are you? No. I just don't particularly want the likes of Betty and Viv Windsor dissecting my every move. Chris, that wasn't just a one-night stand, was it? No. I think we should go away somewhere. Do you? Find somewhere very hot and very quiet where we can get to know one another properly without worrying about what other people are saying. Well, I don't really do holidays. The wheelchair's not at its best on the beach. I wasn't thinking of spending much time outdoors. No work, no distractions. It would be perfect for us. I've owned the travel agent. Two cheeseburger and chips and another special puff of oak. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Surprising, isn't it? Spent so long thinking that Chris were after you, and yet all this time he's been after Laura. Could have just been using you to make her jealous. Wouldn't put it past him. You're not upset, are you? Me, of course not. Hmm. So you don't mind him treating you like that? Chris told me all about him and Laura ages ago. I'm really happy for them. Good, because he's the last bloke worth worrying about. If table three and table seven's ready right now. Okay, boss. Scott, will you be seeing Carly, sir? Why? Oh, it's just that I'm meant to be picking her up for a driving lesson at dinner time, but I'm running a bit late. So? Well, if you're here, will you just tell her to hang on for a bit so I must come up? Yeah, all right, yeah. Where are you supposed to be picking her up from? Uh, work. I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah, I'll tell you. All right. Cheers, Scott. Oh, you want, mate? Not working this lunchtime, are you, man? No, I forced the angry crowds of ice spenders out my shop while I come in here for a quick half. Yeah. Hardly rushed off your feet then. No, nope. the fact that my shop is at the centre of high fashion is still a well kept secret. So well kept, I'm in danger of taking it to grave with me. Well, there's always a job for you behind my bar. Thanks, Mr. T. That's what I'm worried about. Say it again. Yes, please. One eighty, please. Thanks. Thank Trisha, love, could I have a word? What? Does the phrase "a smile costs nothing" ring any bells with you? Sorry. The standard of services sometimes falls a little short of acceptable. Isn't that right, Mr. Turner? Well, I, I don't really think. All pubs serve beer. We've got to offer that little bit extra if we want them to come back. It's called customer satisfaction. We could have a topless then. It's you and all, Mandy. Leave me out of it. I'm on here for drink. Look, girls. Watch and learn. Oh, yes, madam, what can I get you? Could I have two gin and tonics, please? Ice and lemon? Yes, thanks. Great. Right, I'm off up to London Farm. You get me bag ready? Oh, I've, um, I've got to go. I've got to drive a lesson with Roy. That's the first I've heard of it. Well, I okayed it with Zoe. Zoe's not on call. I am. Oh, sorry, I went back late. Kelly? Bye. Hi, Kelly. What are you doing here? Well, I couldn't make it, so he asked me to take your lesson instead. You must be joking. I thought I was doing you a favour. Just trying to be brotherly. We'll shove over. I'm driving. Not where this car's about, Kelly. Do I'll take you somewhere nice and quiet? Come on.
Have you got any tea bags? Top shelf, middle aisle. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, I think that's me done. OK, hang on. Oh, thank heavens for this place, eh? Because you don't want to be heading into town for your bits and pieces, do you? Hi, where'd you... It's Mrs Jones. You've just bought home farm. Stella. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. I didn't know it was you, Vivian. Vivian Windsor, like the Royals. No relation that I know of. <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, I haven't seen you in here before. Thought you might get everything delivered. No, oh, well, it gets a bit lonely up at the house sometimes. To be honest with you, having enough tea bags lost me a year. Oh, you don't want these, do you? I might have some Earl Grey somewhere. No, 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 those are all right. Oh, right, OK. And I expect you'll be wanting a tab. Oh, no, I'll pay as I go. I wouldn't hear of it. I'll bill you at the end of the month. Right now, what paper will you be wanting? Oh, no. I uh, don't seem to get the time anymore. All those rooms to be hoovered. There you go. Thanks. Vivian. Call me Viv. Would you like to come to a party? At your place? Yeah. Housewarming next week. It won't be much. I'd be honoured. Right. Well, I'll see you there then. I'll see you out. Bye then. Yes, and you'll never guess where I've been invited. Scott, slow down. You're going to get us both killed. Oh, relax. I'm safe hands. Scott, stop the car now. I mean it now. Well, here we are. Was all that supposed to impress me? It's nice, isn't it? What you brought me here for? Well, I thought we could practice a few manoeuvres without bumping into anybody. You make me sick. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. It was stupid I was showing off. You're not kidding. I know that ain't much of an excuse, Kelly. But you don't seem to notice me anymore. You know how I feel about you. I just did it for a bit of attention. You're a maniac. I've never been so scared. I'm sorry. You can drive on the way home, eh? I miss you, Kelly. I miss us being close. Scott. I knew it. Nothing like a bit of danger to break the ice, is there? Oh, what have I done? This is what you wanted all along, isn't it? Yeah, and so did you. You'll try and touch me again, and I'll kill you. I swear it. Now take me home. Somewhere, just lie by the pool for a week. I've only just got the business started. Haulage Company won't run itself. Oh, they can spare us for a week. They do have telephones abroad, you know. I'll get some brochures. Workforce had a stroke. <laughs> you wouldn't even know they've gone. Oh. <coughs> Talking about going. Oh, hiya. I hope we're not in the way. Yeah. No, we were just going to have something to eat. I'm sure it's stretch. Nothing like the pleasures of home cooking. Only this isn't your home. <laughs> or yours. We've already eaten, thanks. Oh, we're uh, not trying to find him somewhere to live by any chance. We're just looking for a last-minute break, aren't we, Chris? <laughs> Doesn't anyone actually do any work these days? I went on a cruise last summer. All the exotic places I'd always wanted to see. Malta, Madeira, Lanzarote. Exotic? You are joking, aren't you? Yeah, of course I'm joking. Well, I don't care where we go, I just want some sun. I'm having a party next week. Ah, uh, yes, a uh, rather small, select gathering. No doubt you two will be away, eh? <laughs> We'd love to come, wouldn't we, Chris? I can think of nothing I'd like more. <sighs> Marlon! Oi! Hiya. It's a bit nippy, isn't it? Are you still here? What are you doing? You're freeze today. You, you said if I left, I'd never see you again. I didn't think you'd stay this long. 
I just spent about, you know, ten minutes to show you willing. You mean, I've stood here all morning, throwing myself to the ground every time Betty walked past, losing all feeling in my toes, for nothing. Not for nothing, Marlon. Come on, you better get to work. Play cards right, I might even buy you a hot chocolate. Kelly? Kelly, come on, I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. Sorry you ever came back here. Now leave me alone. They were a miracle, really. One minute they were a sledge and were pounding away inside my head and the next it were gone. Yeah, well, thanks for coming in. Right, cheeseburger and onions, table four. Oh, right. Um, can you finish icing this cake? Party tonight, seven candles. Sure, sure. Yes. <sighs> I can't believe she fell for that. I'm a good liar. I know. <clears throat> I can't seem to find my test trimmer anywhere. Well, it's not in here. Um, here's what I do. <laughs> a tidy tash indicates the workings of a, an ordered mind, don't you think? What are you hey, doing? It's the kitchen. It's what's sterilising now. And so do you, in the interests of humanity. <laughs> oh, I know. The shop. <laughs> I've never known anyone surveying, except you, maybe. I'm really glad we're back together, Lynn. Who said we're back together? I've proved too much I care about you, am I? No, you haven't even started yet. Well, what more can I do? A lot more. Would you be prepared to die for me, Marlon? You what? What if Pollard woke up one morning and someone had, say, accidentally poured pink dye all over his moustache. <laughs> Mr. Daft never heard the light follow with a pink moustache. Lynn? I'm not doing it! <laughs> How charming! Now, why don't you move in there? Do us all a favour, eh? Mind your own business. I know what you're up to. Worming your way in with Stella. Really? Mm. Now, I won't let her be conned by some sleazy second-rate opportunist. What does that make you, then? <laughs> She's too gullible for her own good. And now it's just a question of which one of us can get to her first. Now, you keep away from her, do you hear me? I'm not going anywhere. Stella wants me in the house. Laura thinks I could legally claim rights of occupation anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bank on it. So, one way or another, looks like Stella's stuck with me, doesn't it? Yes, Bess. Child of the well, I know some folk are attracted by helpless men, but... I'd hardly call Chris helpless. I expect he'll be at Stella's gathering. I'll keep my ears pinned for anything juicy. What I don't understand is why you should get an invite and not anyone else. It's a soiree. She's not just going to invite anybody, is she? I beg your pardon? She's quality, isn't she? We click straight away. Here, yeah, Mum, there's a uh, Kelby in it. Not sinner today. I meant to meet her to take her for a drive, but she won't now. Aww. What are you having? Uh, just give her a pint of lager, Mum. Andy? Has our little chat just gone in one ear and out the other? What are you on about? What you have in is no way to speak to a customer. Give over, it's only Roy. And what you keep writing in that book anyway? Observations. And some of them make for pretty dismal reading, I can tell you. Smile. Grunt, don't behave like that. You take everything so seriously. Except me. When? Well, I ask you to do one simple thing. One thing, it's never ending. I just need to know that you care about me. Our relationship shouldn't depend on some childish prank. I know it shouldn't, but it does. And the more you don't want to do it, the more important it is to me that you do. What are you looking so worried about? Don't ask. I love this. Right, Kelly. Now, I thought you were out. I was having a bath. Where's Donna? Uh, round of friends. Her mum's down the pub, strangely oh, no enough. Friend. 
It's all right, I'm not going to jump on you. Wait, it's a change then, didn't it? It was a mistake, all right? I'm sorry. If it ever happens again, Viv's going to hear about it. Do you understand me? Oh, look, he's my friend. All right, Stella. Hiya. What can I get you? Oh, no, you're all right. I'll get these. Viv's been telling us about her exclusive invite to your party. I just happened to mention it. Good, yeah, cos I'm having a housewarming next week and you're all invited. What? Uh, not everyone, surely. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I think we're free, aren't we, sir? Right, so what's everyone having? It's impossible. How would I do it? When he's asleep. Breaking his flat. I'm sure you manage it. You are a dingle, aren't you? What if he wakes up? Oh, um, he will. Not if you get him really drunk first. <sighs> I can't believe I'm even thinking about it. Marlon, do this and I'll know you're capable of anything. Come on, Nick, it's a lot of scotch, it's urgent. No, I'm not allowed to sell it that bottle. I'll pay for it, it's an emergency. There you go, sir. Enjoy your pint. What are you grinning like that for? You'll make it go sour. I can't take much more of this, Grandad. Much more of what? Any problems? Yeah, you. Scribbling away in your little black book. If you did less writing and more serving, you might be of some use round here. Management sometimes has to step back to take an objective view. Well, show us what you've written, then. It's private. Not if it's about me, it ain't. Grandad, tell her. Bernice is doing a marvellous job. She has my every support. I just don't think you should be inviting all and sundry up to the house. The evening will be wasted, most of them. Eric, like I said, you organise a tent in the booze and you'll leave the guest list to me. But, Stella, I'm merely trying to save you from the less desirable members of our community. What are you staring at? Me? Nothing. Cheers, Eric. Bottoms up. At least that one eyed goo won't be coming. <laughs> Go downstairs. Kelly, don't, please. Look, we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. Don't you understand? It's all in your head. We've been trying to put this behind us since Christmas. Pretend it didn't happen. But it's not working, is it? Scott. Look, I think about us all the time. And you do as well. I've seen the way you've been looking at me. This is just as much you as it is me. Stop saying that! If you want the truth, I find you repulsive. I feel sick every time you come near me! You've been feeling things that you don't want to feel. And now you're trying to pretend that you don't. No! Look, what's happening between us ain't gonna go away. Not ever. Stop talking like that! Have you any idea what you're doing to me? All this you're doing is just wasting time. You and me are gonna happen. And I don't care what you say. You want it too, Kelly. Don't you? 